Hello everyone and today is a video all about the brand new Tower 28 Beach Please blushes. Well they're technically like lip and cheek tints but I have all three shades. Tower 28 very generously sent them to me in PR and I probably was very close to crying when I opened up the package because it's just so surreal that this is one of my favorite brands and a lot of you guys know that if you are a subscriber of my channel. I just love their brand so much and I love all their products and I was so excited for this launch and when I received them in the mail I was so excited because all of these shades are really right up my alley and I probably would have bought them all on my own eventually. So I'm very grateful that they sent them over because it means I can film a review and help you swatch them to help you guys decide which shades that you maybe want to bring into your collection. So let's just get into it. I'm going to first start off with some swatches and some comparisons with other cream blushes in my collection. And then at the end of the video, I have demos. I film them on three separate days and using all three of the cream blushes on my cheeks and on my lips. So let's get into it. So I do have one of the original cream blushes in the shade Magic Hour, which I also will compare to blushes in my collection to just give you guys a overall roundup of their cream blushes. I'm missing two of the shades. Um, the bright pink one I used to have, but I gave off to a friend because I just have other pink blushes and I don't wanna be wasteful because I know I can't go through them all. And then the bright orange isn't exactly in my makeup taste, so I don't own that one. A few friends that I know have the orange blush and I'm pretty sure are receiving these blushes in PR. So be on the lookout for other videos on this if you're interested in that, but I will do some comparisons with Magic Hour. So let me go through all of these. They are very pretty next to each other. So again, the first one, which is part of the original line is the shade Magic Hour, which is like a rosy, peachy neutral. It's honestly my favorite blush in my collection, which I have talked about because this just goes with every single look. I need to bring this into my shop, my stash and use this more because it truly goes with every single look. And I love this one. And then we have the shade Rush Hour, which is one of the new shades. And it is just a nice bright peachy kind of color. I'm wearing this one on my cheeks today and I didn't build it up to a strong color right now because I've just been enjoying that look lately, which is weird, I know, but it, I don't know what is reflecting off of something today, but, but I really enjoy this color because it is bright, but it's not too bright. And I think it's very pretty. We have the shade Power Hour, which is the one that I was most excited for. It's like a terracotta color, which is like on my skin tone, a perfect sunburn color. It's nice and neutral and goes with every look. And then the last shade that I have is the shade After Hours, which is a berry color. And I think this has more of a pink undertone compared to like a red undertoned berry. So those are the four shades. The three of them again are new and these can be used anywhere on the face. They can be used on your lips, on your cheeks, and on your eyes. I personally don't love them on your eye, on my eyes because one, I love doing eyeshadows. So it's going to take a lot for me to not use a palette or like a other shimmery single. And also they are just more emollient creams. So they are going to crease throughout the day, which I personally don't mind a ton. Like I've used the Bronzino on my cheeks before, which this is the Bronzino. I've used this, I meant to say eyes. I've used this on the eyes before and it's very pretty. I just, it's not my favorite for the eyes. And on the lips, I think they're very nice. They're more like a matte balm type of thing. So they aren't the most hydrating unless you would build them up to like a thicker layer because they are pigmented enough where you don't need much and you can get a nice layer on your lips, which I think is really great for under masks because they aren't transfer proof. But I show in one of the demos that they don't really have much transfer because you really don't have that much product on your lips to get a nice color. I love the shade Power Hour on my lips. This is such a pretty lip color. I personally like them most as a blush, which I think most people would agree with because I mean, they're cream blushes and I think they are really beautiful. I love the packaging because they're nice and simple. They are this acrylic type of case and they're pretty easy to open. I have dropped all of mine on the floor like once. So the closure is pretty loose. I mean, it's still like, will stay on. This one I did crack a little bit. I, I'm obviously very clumsy, but still stays on. And if you have any issues with it, I'm sure Tower 28 would be really great to reach out to and they would help you. Okay. 
but I love the packaging on these. They're just really cute and simple and pretty sleek to just store in your collection like this. So the formula is obviously like a balmy texture. They are a balm sort of blush and I think it's pretty similar to how most can the lawnmowers like go away? I've been sitting here for like 45 minutes waiting to film the demo of one of the blushes and film this portion of the video and they've been leaf blowing outside of my room the entire time. Anyways, we're just gonna pretend like we don't hear a leaf blower outside and we're gonna watch the video happily anyways, but they're pretty balmy. I know some people don't like that because it is like a bit of a thicker balm, but I apply them with a brush. I apply them with my Zoeva. This is the 128 Cream Cheek and this is how I apply all of my cream blushes and I it blends fine and especially because I set my face a little bit with powder. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys can't hear them. I set my face a little bit with powder, so I don't really notice the texture a lot. I just think that they're very easy to blend out. They're so seamless to blend out on top of foundation as well. It doesn't move anything underneath. And I like it because it never makes my skin look textured. Sometimes with matte cream blushes, it just doesn't sit right. And this one is a little bit more glowy without being super glowy. It's not the M Cosmetics um, drops where it's just going to look like a lot on your skin. It's definitely going to give you a nice glow, which you will see in the demos. I don't set my face except for in the last demo, and you will see it gives me a very nice glow to the skin where I don't need a highlighter, but it's not over the top oily. I mean, it definitely can be if you want, but I wouldn't be worried about it if you don't love a super dewy look, especially if you set on top, they set perfectly fine. If you have any questions about the formula, I'm happy to answer your questions in the comments below. They are very long wearing. I wear these for like over 12 hours and they look the same as when I first applied them, which for a cream blush is very impressive. So, oh my gosh, I'm just dropping everything. But these are probably my favorite cream blushes in my collection. I mean, I've raved about Magic Hour a ton especially because that shade is my favorite, but now having more shades has just solidified my love for these because I love just having a pan to just dip my brush into. It's not super like oily feeling in the pan, but it still gives me a nice glow. It's super long wearing and the colors are all colors where don't necessarily go perfectly with every look, but I could probably blindly reach for any color and it would go with any look that I do. I'm going to start with the swatches in the demo. So I'm going to start with the shade Magic Hour. I did get a request to swatch this next to one of the blushes in my collection, so I will do that for you. Okay, so this is what it looks like on my finger. It's obviously pretty close to my skin tone. And this is what the blush looks like. It's just a very pretty neutral color. Out of the range, this is still just one of my favorites because of how usable, what? How usable this is, I guess that's a word, because this really will go with all of my looks, whether it's cool toned, warm toned, colorful, whatever it is. It's more like a peachy, rosy, neutral color. It's kind of hard to describe because I'm not very good at describing things, but I do love this blush color. And I got a request to swatch this next to the MAC Glow Play blush in the shade So Natural. This is another one of my favorite blushes for that go with everything type of look because it really does go with everything. Obviously the formula on this is different and I'm not comparing formula in this video. And this one is like a putty blush and not as much of a cream. And as you can tell by the swatches, the MAC one is much lighter, and especially when it's on the face, it is a much lighter color. I will build it up a little bit, and part of that has to do with the formula. It's a more putty blush rather than a cream blush. So the more emollient or liquidy a product is, obviously the less you need of it. So for something like the Glossy Cloud Paints, they're obviously very pigmented, but when you compare how much of these people usually squirt out versus the amount you pick up on your brush, I think the pigment is pretty similar. It's just that you're taking a lot more liquid than you would really expect because how much cream blush do you really pick up? So with the putty, I just think you pick up less product. This one is less of a creamy, dewy kind of thing. And just overall, I think they give you a similar vibe on the cheeks of just being a good neutral blush, but they, I definitely have room for both of them in my collection. I think also the Tower 28 one is a little bit more warm, a little bit 
more rosy versus the MAC one is a little bit more of a peachy neutral. So I love both of them, but that is the swatches of those two. And I also have Nude Sticks Bareback, but this one is not similar to either of those, despite what you might think. So this one is from Nude Sticks. It's their Nudies Matte. And it's obviously a lot more cold toned than the other ones. It On the face, it doesn't look super purple. It looks more neutral, but compared to these, these are a lot more warm toned. So this is Tower 28 Magic Hour, MAC Glow Play and So, so Natural, and Nude Sticks Bareback. I think out of the three, it's close between the MAC and the Tower 28 ones, but there's the swatches of that blush. And now let's get into the newer blush color since I know that's what most of you are here for. So I'm going to start with the lightest of the bunch, which is Rush Hour. This one is a peachy color and I only have one other blush that is a cream to compare it to, but here's what it looks like. This one isn't as pigmented as the two darker ones, which I find I have to be a little bit more careful of, but this one is obviously a very bright color. It's very pretty and on the cheeks, like I said, it doesn't look bright as in it's like neon and it looks too much. It still looks like a very natural flush. It just brightens my complexion a little bit. So that is Rush Hour. I'm trying to show you on like this lighting. I have very shaky hands, so. Okay, I don't know. I messed with the camera now, it's all messed up. But I'm going to swatch it next to Beam, which I haven't actually swatched next to it before, but they give me the same sort of effect of being like a bright sort of blush. Beam is a little bit lighter compared to Rush Hour, which I think just makes the Tower 28 one a bit more inclusive. But I think if you have Beam, you don't necessarily need Rush Hour. So here's what they look like. They are obviously very similar on the skin, very different formulas. The Glossier one dries down a bit more. Swatching them directly in the sun, Rush Hour likes, looks the slightest bit more deeper and slightly more orange versus beam looks slightly more pink and coral but I think on the cheeks they're gonna look exactly the same so when it's swatched next to each other you can tell that this one is a little bit more orange but as someone who doesn't really love super orangey blushes I don't notice it being like super orange I think it's just a traditional peach color um so yeah that's the two of them I don't think you need both but I still really enjoy both of these colors and yeah, I love both of these. So that is Rush Hour. And then I will go ahead and swatch Power Hour, which is the terracotta shade. And I actually have two blushes that I think are pretty similar to this. It's, I feel like this type of blush is growing in popularity because they're pretty universal no matter how fair or how, how deep your skin tone is. And they really go with any look. They're not your traditional neutral like magic hour is they're more of like a reddish type of neutral which i think is very pretty with especially with the bronze tone trends so this is power hour I'm going to swatch it it looks like this on the finger this one is pigmented but i take like two taps and then i will put like i will put it on both cheeks and then blend out one and it is very pigmented as you will see like in the demo but I do think it blends out still seamlessly to whatever sort of sheerness you want. So this is Power Hour. Again, love this color. It's a little bit more red undertoned, which on my skin tone, I think gives that perfect sunburn look. And it's also very neutral to where it can go with a lot of my makeup looks. This is definitely one of my favorite blushes that they have because I think this is just so gorgeous. This is what it kind of looks like sheared out. I love it so much. So I'm going to re-swatch it a little bit more pigmented and then swatch it next to two other blushes that I have. So the first one that I have is Patrick Ta She's So LA. I just blinded myself. This is She's So LA. I'm going to swatch the cream side. This one is more sheer of a formula. It's a thinner balm as well. And as you can tell, it's a little bit more brown in undertone versus this one is more reddish. Let me see. So it's just a little bit more brown. An undertone, if I go right here, you can kind of see it in the sun. She So LA is a little bit more brown toned versus the Tower 28 one is a little bit more reddish and gives a better sunburn type of effect on the cheeks. And then I also have Nude Sticks Sunkissed, which is the Nudies Matte. This is one of my favorite blushes as well. 
and I think this one is more comparable to She's So LA, but I think it is a good blend of the two colors. So I'm going to go really up close and out of focus so you can see that. And they're not all very similar to each other, but you definitely don't need all three if you are wanting to keep your collection minimal. If you love cream blush and you love this tone, go ahead and knock yourself out and buy all these three. But I would say that probably the Nude Sticks one is the most similar to the Tower 28 one, but this one is very unique because I think it has more red in its undertone. And I'm actually going to swatch it next to Glossier Storm, which I'm going to swatch for the berry blush as well. But this is a berry cloud or a berry cream blush that leans a little bit more red, which actually might be pretty similar to this. Yeah, that is like spot on. This is Glossier Cloud Paint, and it's definitely like a little bit more pink and berry in undertone, but it is very similar to the Tower 28 ones. I'm trying to get it. So like these are all clearly different cream blushes, but I don't think you would need all of them. And if you are looking to resist purchases, I don't think you would need the Tower 28 one if you have some of these, but I think the Tower 28 one is my favorite out of all of these. I love Patrick Tosh, She's So LA. It's one of my favorites, especially because it goes with everything. But this new Tower 28 one just looks so gorgeous on the cheeks. And then last but not least is the shade After Hours, which is a berry color. And it's not as red in undertone as the Glossier one. I will swatch them. But this one, to me, gives a little bit more of the cold cheek vibes. The Fjords vibes, as Khaki would say. Because when you swatch it, it's definitely like that berry color. Like that traditional berry color. And when you swatch Glossier Storm... It's a little bit more red in undertone, a little bit deeper, if you can see it there. So that's what they look like next to each other. This one is definitely, the Tower 28 one is definitely more red, but I will show them out for you. So the top one is Glossier and the bottom one is Tower 28. They're clearly very different from each other. I think they do the same sort of effect on the cheeks of looking like a cold flush. But I definitely think that After Hours is the most unique cream blush to my collection because I really don't have anything like this. And it took me by surprise on how much I loved this blush color on me. I wore it yesterday and I loved it so much. So here is After Hours. Trying to help you with the sunlight, but... It's very different. This one is a lot more pink in undertone. And if you don't like pinks, I wouldn't be concerned because I think on the cheeks, it doesn't look necessarily pink. I think if you are a light skin tone, it's gonna look more like a natural cold flush. Okay, and then one last time, here are all of the new Tower 28 creams. We have Rush Hour, Power Hour, and After Hours. I will get close and show you these in the sunlight. You can see the nice, glossy doony. So these are all the new cream blushes. This is definitely one of my favorite releases in a while. I know a lot of us are kind of over new releases. I think it's partially because of the abundance of releases last year and also just starting the new year not, I don't know, just not really wanting to buy a ton of stuff at the moment, which I completely understand. So I hope these comparisons were helpful, but also I know that I'm so happy with all three of these cream blushes. Thank you again with, or what am I saying? Thank you again for Tower 28 for sending them away, my way. I am incredibly grateful, even if this is the only PR package I ever received from them. I am just so ecstatic. I love so many of their, I actually love almost everything I have from them. The lip glosses are my favorite. These blushes are my favorite. The SOS spray, like just so many things from the brand. I love so much. I will eventually do like a full face of Tower 28 once I have, maybe like once they release a few more products to make the video more useful for you guys. I have lip swatch videos of the Milky glosses. I have three of the four shades and spoiler alert, these are my favorite glosses in my collection. Somewhere in a video, I have these three original glosses swatched. I think it's in like my lip gloss collection video, but clearly I love these as well. 
and I've used the blushes in a separate video and now I have these blushes in this video so yeah this was just these blushes are so good these are probably going to become like my most used blushes in my collection because of how easy they are to use with literally any makeup look they're easy if you want to layer other blushes on top literally just such good blushes and I cannot wait to see what Tower 28 releases next so now I'm going to get into the second part of the video which is the demo of all of the blush tones into the demos and thank you for watching if you were leaving now today I'm going to do one of the blushes and I did do a demo on Instagram of the shade power hour already but I know not everyone follows me on Instagram that watches this video so I'm still going to do a demo of that one. And this one is pretty pigmented. I just like did a little tap 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 and you can see how pigmented it is. But I mean I think that's good because it can work for deeper skin tones but it's not so pigmented that it's really hard to work with if you have fair skin. And also this blush lasts really well. I had this on until like way too late like 1am or later I guess because I don't know I stay up too late just sitting around on my phone and it was still really visible so obviously everyone's skin is going to be a little bit differently but it's a very long wearing cream blush so I'm just kind of taking that across the face I don't love to do on my nose and like right here on my face but I kind of find with this shade it's nice to just take it around my face so I will show you in a slightly better lighting like once I'm done applying it but this is what the shade is looking like again like I said on Instagram it's definitely like a deeper shade and you can build it up to like a darker brown and it's not even building up I think it wouldn't be hard to get it to that tone but it still doesn't feel out of place or super pigmented on my face it still looks really good this is what the blush looks like I think it's just a very pretty like sun kissed type of shade you can see the glow so yeah that's the shade power hour i think this one will be my favorite out of the three but this is also the only one i've tried as of filming this hi me again um so i in case the footage is messed up i did just apply power hour and i did my eyeshadow and I want to apply a little bit of Rush Hour, which is the peach on top. I still want to do like a separate demo of this shade, but my eyes are looking a little bit yellow and I think this will be nice. And I also forgot to show you Power Hour on the lips because I've been really enjoying that. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that. I've never used this. And this isn't going to be like a proper display of how the shade is. This is how much is on my brush. Um, because it's obviously on top of a different blush so again it's not like super peachy but it just added a little bit of brightness ignore the blanket mess on my bed but i really like it i'm gonna take power hour on the lips ignore it, my room is just a mess but you really don't need that much but it still doesn't dry out your lips but it's more like a matte balm like how i imagine the glossier generation g's are but this is like a little bit more hydrating i love this color you can see it here. It's just a very nice color. Hello again. So I'm trying to make sure the lighting is good and like you guys can see the colors accurately. But today I wanted to use the shade After Hours, which is the berry color. I'm wearing the same foundation, the L'Oreal Serum and the Fenty Cream Bronzer. And obviously I'm wearing eyeshadow, which is not related to the blush at all. So I'm just going to take that. Uh, probably too much a little bit of that okay actually that's not too much I feel like this one can be built up a little bit although on camera I look like a clown that shade is very nice it blended easily I feel like I don't need a ton of that but it's not scarily too pigmented also my eyeshadow is not blended but I feel like that's a nice color it's a color that I feel like my face would naturally turn and I do really like that it's sure it's five I look like this is the color that a like Anna from Frozen would wear I don't know why I always make that reference but 
really liking that color so let me show you in slightly better lighting so it's gonna be hard to see here it kind of looks like I'm washed out a little bit but that's what the color looks like here's like a little bit farther back it looks very much like washed out and everything it's a very pretty shade I would definitely buy this myself you can do it very pigmented and get like a pink berry tone on the lips or obviously a little bit more sheer so that's the color I actually don't mind that with this look you know it's a weird contrast with the green very nice lip color and it it doesn't look weird sometimes my blushes on my lips look sheer or just not good but I feel like because these are deeper colors I personally really like them and I would totally wear these on my lips especially like this shade in the summer as like a popsicle color that's exactly what it looks like and to show you transfer like it it doesn't transfer much because it's such a thin layer like I said so I really like that actually and I would totally wear that as a real lipstick and it's gonna be pretty mask proof so there is the color after hours and I will see you back for the last demo which is the shade rush hour I'm thinking this one won't be as pigmented as the rest but I'm just taking a little bit there I really really like that it's just a really bright peachy color you're gonna have to ignore the mess in my room but I enjoy that I'm gonna take a little bit of rush hour just on my finger yeah this isn't a shade I think I would wear on its own I don't like lighter lip colors this is very bright as well I and mean, it's still very pretty and I think some people would really like this. I do not like light lip colors at all. I just think they wash me out. But that's actually not bad. Especially for like a monochromatic, summery, peachy coral look. Like if I was wearing this on the eyes as well. Like it's not necessarily my taste for every day, but that is very pretty. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of Power Hour on top. So this is Rush Hour, Power Hour is the Terracotta. It's gonna take a little bit and mix that in, yeah. I think Power Hour makes it a little bit more rosy versus straight up peach. So this is Rush Hour on the lips and cheeks. I believe this is the end of the video now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Again, I demoed all three of the new Tower 28 Peach Please shades. So Rush Hour, which is the peach, is what I'm wearing today. Yesterday I wore After Hours, which is like a berry with a pink undertone. And then Power Hour is the terracotta shade. And I honestly love them all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you picked up any of the shades or which of the shades is your favorite. There's just sounds everywhere. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.